1967, our beaches was almost a block away from the water. Our beaches now are less than a block from the water. When Ike hit, it really opened my eyes. That was the highest water we've ever had here. Everywhere you would, you would go in town, every house, every business, you'll see what they had cut out. Like three foot plywood taken out of their, their places. We live on an island. We see it every day. The more the Arctic melts, the more water we're going to have to fight off. How do you fight it off? Now, after Ike had passed, you know, my thoughts of climate change, um, I'm more thoughtful of it now. I pay more attention to it now, you know. I don't know if it's too late or not, but we have a big part of the climate change. It's not happening by itself. Hurricane Ike hit Galveston in 2008 as a Category 3 hurricane. It flooded 75% of Galveston Island. We are the piece of land that actually stops a hurricane from being massive at the oil refineries just on the other side of Galveston Bay. The more and more the Arctic melts, the more and more water is gonna be in the Gulf of Mexico. The more and more water that's in the Gulf of Mexico, Galveston Island is going to have erosion. So the more and more you dig and put sand back up on top, you're giving that water some place to go, and you're keeping us from becoming a swamp. It's inevitable. 100 years from now, Galveston Island may not be here. I remember as a kid counting the steps in the public housing, 14 steps from the bottom to the top. The water got to like the eighth and the ninth step. But I remember as a kid that we didn't leave. We went upstairs and we sat and we looked out the window. We looked at the rain, we looked at the wind, we looked at the water swelling outside, but never experienced what we experienced here with Ike. What killed Galveston was a storm surge. The only other hurricane that I can remember that was as devastating as that was Hurricane Carla, which hit in 1961. A lot of people left, and a lot of people don't want to come back. A lot of people left, and they can't come back. Almost every household had piles of furniture in front of the house. For the first time in my life, I saw the community come together as a whole. Everything was just shut down, but during that time, the community, we all came together to support one another, to just lift each other up. People with money, people without money, we're all equal there. 
no matter how it comes, there are always going to be the individuals who feel the brunt of it. I have this thing about me and God. My God doesn't make any mistakes. The devastation of it was that we're all equal when it comes to the good Lord's work. 